Hello everyone, and welcome to Higher Self with Cecil Thornton. Today, we're going to be talking about nutrition and clean eating. What is clean eating? Clean eating is a diet that consists of whole foods, avoiding convenient foods, and other processed foods. The main goal is to reduce the consumption of processed foods. Here is a list of foods that will help you with your clean eating efforts. And when we're eating these foods, we want to always think about portion control. For vegetables, two to three cups. Fruits, one and a half to two cups. Grains, five to eight ounces. Dairy, three cups. Protein foods, five to six and a half ounces. And oils, five to seven teaspoons. When we begin to eat clean with portion control, that most times keeps our weight balanced. Eating in moderation along with exercise is definitely key to keeping our weight balanced. Make cardio a daily experience in your life. Take 30 minutes a day to do some kind of cardio. That could be jumping rope, that could be taking a walk outside, or that could be on the cardio machine. I would also suggest incorporating positive affirmations to your cardio. Elevating your energy frequency along with burning calories is a win-win situation. So welcome to the Kitchen Chronicles. So for the Kitchen Chronicles menu today, it's going to be braised chicken, rice, and a vegetable. So right now, I'm gonna to begin to prepare the meal. So I'm gonna cut the carrots, I'm gonna season the chicken, and just prepare it. And the seasonings I'm going to use today, so I'm using Lowry Season Salt, I'm using McCormick's black pepper, and I'm also going to use uh, Casey Denning's Carver seasonings. So she has a line of seasonings. Uh, this one is called All You Can Eat, and they're very, very good. So I'm going to be using that with my to season my chicken. So I'm going to begin cutting up the carrots, and I like to cut my carrots kind of thin, so because I'm going to put them in the oven. So. So they can cook pretty, pretty fast. So I'm thinking 20 minutes in the oven and they should be, they should be fine. I'm gonna season them with pretty much uh, just salt and pepper. So about 20 minutes in the oven, you should be fine. So right now I'm gonna set my oven on. So right now I'm gonna set the oven to, I'm gonna get to 400. So when I'm preparing my carrots, I'm gonna put a little vegetable oil, uh, a side dish. So, so I have a little vegetable oil inside of this dish before I put my carrots in and season them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the carrots in. And I'm going to season them with uh, Casey Bennings, Carver Spices, Gullo Gullo. That's what I'm going to season it with. And you just want to make sure uh, the seasoning is on most well on all of your carrots. And I'm going to actually add a little salt to that. Add a little salt. And I'm gonna add some pepper. And I'm starting with the carrots because yeah, the carrots have to bake. So the carrots have to bake, so we wanna make sure we kind of prepare that first so it has enough time to bake. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. Now I'm getting ready to season the chicken. So 
So now the chicken is prepared. Now I'm getting ready to braise the chicken. So now I'm getting ready to prepare my braised chicken. First I start with, uh, I start with butter inside my pan. I cook, I cook with a lot of butter, so yeah. <laughs> and I let the butter melt. And I don't do any cooking without my peppers and onions. So we're gonna put some peppers and onions in the butter. And we're just gonna mix that together. Now this is the way I cook. Now you may do it a little differently. But yeah. <laughs> so I have my water for my rice over here. So we're letting the peppers and the butter mix before we put the chicken in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken, put the chicken in and let it begin to cook. So if you feel it's not enough peppers, you may want to put a few more peppers in it. Since this chicken is so thick, I'm going to let it cook on both sides, uh, probably like seven to eight minutes on both sides. I don't like to overcook my chicken for the simple fact, uh, I want it a little juicy, so yeah. Sometimes I have a tendency to add a uh, cream of mushroom to the chicken. It really, really adds wonderful flavor. And to me, clean eating is more about eating healthy foods with portion control. But sometimes we have a tendency uh, to eat a little too much. I think portion control will definitely uh, help us keep things mild. So my carrots are in the oven cooking. My rice is over here cooking and you got the chicken right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn over the chicken. I'm gonna turn it over. Boy, this is looking real good too. Okay. Oh yeah, this chicken looks real good. And it smells awesome. I sometimes like to poke holes in my chicken like this so I can uh, get some of the seasonings inside of the chicken. Okay, so the carrots are done. Get them out. Okay. They look pretty good. We have our chicken. It's looking pretty good. And the rice is cooking. So we're good to go. We're almost through. Mm -hmm. Now think about this meal, you can do this meal in like 30 minutes to be very honest with you. It doesn't take that much time. I can't cook a whole bunch of stuff, but what I can cook, I cook pretty decently. So it's pretty much through, so I'm going to get ready and plate it. So now it's all done. Now it's time to eat. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me. And thank you for watching Hire Yourself with Cecil Thornton. I wanna take the time out to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you can leave your feedback in a comment, that would be wonderful. I would love to hear what you have to say. Exercise is a part of my everyday life. Exercise is a part of my everyday life. Exercise is a part of my everyday life. I have healthy eating habits. I have healthy eating habits. I have healthy eating habits. I, have healthy eating habits. I will reach my body goals. I will reach my body goals. I will reach my body goals. 
week, I decided to have an herb of the week. The herb of the week is milk thistle. The usage of milk thistle can be for liver damage. And also, if you drink a good bit, you may want to try milk thistle because it may help you in the long run um, if you are a heavy drinker. Studies have also shown that milk thistle helps with type 2 diabetes as well. It also helps with lowering cholesterol. Please do your own research and consult with your physician before consumption. The crystal of the week is green fluoride. The benefits of green fluoride are growth, re-energizing, and healing. It enhances your focus, sparks creativity, and reduces stress. It inspires new ideas, and soothes the chaotic mind, and promotes free thinking. From the highest mountain to the lowest